Welcome back to Dragon Quest Builders. Last time we built magic equipment and everyone had a good time. We also extended our front yard a little bit because as it turns out the cannons just kind of lay waste to the land and I figured better to do this now than just rebuilding it every time. That big uh, area in the middle is only one block above bedrock. So I am going to go to the trouble of refilling that one block, but eh. I didn't go any further back this way because I figured it was going to mess with the cannons actually being able to hit guys. But I think that's alright. And I also didn't want to go one lower because I felt like that also may mess with the cannons trying to hit guys. But, you know, we'll find out how it goes. Also in the process, I nearly broke my hammer, so we're going to have to make another one. Which is pretty easy. Also, I can go over here to equipment and get rid of a lot of the old stuff I'm not using anymore. Like all my equipment. And now, with our new set of everything... We're gonna go shoot that mag malice in the face. Where do you go to do that? So we're supposed to bring like the whole team and have a grand old time, big old party. Um, I'm gonna see if he's immune to cannon. It's difficult to be immune to cannon. He's also got a lot of fancy attacks and stuff, so that's stuff I'm gonna wanna keep in mind. So a lot of that doesn't really matter when you're getting shot at range with a cannon. Yeah, you know what? I think this is going to be a pretty good spot right here. I don't know if that hurt him. I think it's going over his head, actually. So let's bring it back a little bit. Back like here. Fine, I'll fight you. Because I am getting tired of your crap. We did it. Oh, yeah. I don't know if this is hitting him. I don't know if it hurts him. Well, that's okay. Hmm. Oh no, it was hurting him. Cool. Good job. Dang it. Can you, like, leave us alone? We're busy. Cool. Fancy. Got him. Cannons solve all problems. Why don't you drop this? Got a seed of life. Oh no, I blew up my cannon. Give me that back. I'm using that. Specifically on you. Oh crap, that's lava now. Man, you just like leave me alone. So you'll note, um, A, there's a bunch of junk out here. Wow, that's a deep. Oh no, I can't get out of the lava. Okay, I made it. Um, so after killing him, there's these weird blocks here. And even with this hammer, we cannot break them. Curious. Well, our job here is done, though, thanks to the power of the magic cannon. Jeez, what happened over here? 
Somebody like ex I have more dirt than I know what to do with. I have so much dirt. But we'll, we'll be fun. We'll figure out how to handle the dirt issue. I'm probably going to end up making some... Oh, that's why I couldn't get up. This is where I usually go up. I'm probably going to end up making some extra chests. Just to store, like, excess crap. All the blueprints, the 5,000 stacks of dirt that I have. I get a lot of supplies in this chapter. You're doing a lot of things. You're effectively doing chapter one, but more. And it's an interesting theme compared to the first and second chapters. Like in the first chapter, everybody was just trying to survive. Whereas in this chapter, they're fighting back. Yeah, sorry I didn't bring the guys with me. I figured the cannon was enough. I mean, whatever you say. You know, that's that's a good question. That's fair. Every other time I've beat... Well, every other time it's been like a giant epic battle around the base, too. Hmm. Well, that just means we have to figure out the right thing to hit with that hammer. You know, I could go for a bath, wash that lava off. So who else wants a piece of me? Glutamus! Dang! I don't know, if you get that hand big enough... I like that these guys are figuring it out though like they're they're not like getting smarter but they're kind of getting smarter Bar counter, A. Eh? So what is this anyway? Glutamus's blueprint. It's a bar. They got the seats and the, the bar and the food. So here's the thing with this bar. Um, it's effectively what I already have over here. It's the barbecue bistro. Because it's got the... the barbecue... two effective tables and four seats. Only... a little different. Because you can see, it's got a bar counter. An actual bar, it doesn't have two tables. And a beer barrel, which I'm not sure is actually necessary, but we'll find out. I'm not going to make this directly because I don't have a quest for it and I know what it's going to unlock. Mostly he just wants to, us to build the base up more. So we're going to do just that. There's not really anything else we have to add to the town, so... We're going to hammer this son of a gun out make it look all nice and pretty.
And that should do it. For now. I've done everything I can think of doing. Every room is upgraded to its most upgraded. We've got here the bodybuilder's bar, which is doing fine. We've got the muscle inn, which is a regular inn, only I have to have a portrait of a lady. I tried putting king size beds down, but it overrode it with the expensive inn from previous chapter. So I feel like maybe there's something else we could do, but I haven't bothered to look it up yet. Also went ahead and made a room over here, just for the extra points. Um, we can't really do anything with this other than have crap in it. But boy did I free up a lot of inventory space by putting all my dirt in these. Made the hot baths a little... little more sleek. A little nicer. Just full of the... full of the... the white salt. Chalk! Chalk! The white chalk now. I've noticed the ladies go in, then the dudes go in, and the ladies go in. Like, the, loot, the, the ladies and the dudes never mix, which I thought was interesting. Um, let's see here. Not much done over here. Have the bodybuilder's boudoir, which is a regular one-bedroom room. It's got to be a big old king-size fancy thing. You have to have the dumbbells down and the portrait of a lady in here. I actually got this idea from, um, Duda right here. Just happened to talk to him by accident, and he was like, Hey, how about this room that I'm gonna perfectly describe? And I'm like, you know what? I needed a bedroom. So this right now is Tofu's bed. I have not actually claimed it as Tofu's bed, so if another one of the ladies wants to grab it, then more power to him. But I'm gonna be sleeping in here until then. I also aesthetic everything up as well as I could well, with the straw floors now, and I've got the... This is the fancy fortress footer lining the outside of each one. Put a tree over there because of reasons. It looks nice, I guess. So the, overall, we're doing pretty good. The only problem I have right now is... I don't know what I'm going to do to hit level 5. <laughs> Other than, like, break all the doors and remake all the doors and hope that does something. And you know, maybe it will. I don't know things. Let's find out. Bam! Sorry, guys. Because there is one more thing. Obviously, we're going to be getting a third, uh, teleportal. So we're going to be getting a lot more space for that, or so we're going to be getting a little bit more something something for that one. But otherwise, I'm not really sure what else we can do, other than just kind of game the system a little. At the very least, this will get us some extra points, which will make us a little bit closer. There we go. That'll get us a little bit closer. To our goal of maximum level anyway. So let's wrap this up by Hey Glutamus! Lovely jubbly. I did put some barbells in my room. You got it! You mean the magic cannon isn't it? Because I'm pretty sure the magic cannons, it's up there. Gonna arm wrestle over it! Alright, Glutamus, let's go! Throws me right into the water. And we have a battle! We knew it was coming. Until next time, everyone! We're doing pretty well. I can't think of much else we gotta do around here. So, 
Next time we shoot guys with magic cannons and everybody enjoys it.